Welcome back everybody, I'm really happy that you continue to watch my video course and today I want to discuss about two questions and if you will be able to resolve them you will improve your level of painting. Have you ever asked at yourself why I'm too slow? Why I cannot finish the painting in a quick way? Why other artists are so fast and they can do two, three paintings in one day and I'm not able to do one painting in one week? First of all, I have to understand that quality is more important than to be fast. I think there is some misunderstanding regarding art therapy and to be a professional artist. I believe that the boundaries of these two disciplines are often really subtle um, and sometimes they blend together and it's easy to confuse yourself because many, many uh, artists believe that you have to just express yourself in a quick way and do what you feel directly. If you want to become a professional painter, you should be able to paint um, quite, quite fast and keep the quality of your painting really high. But how may I go fast and keep the quality of my technique really good? I think it is possible, but you have to work hard. You have to draw and paint every day. And it doesn't matter if you are slow, uh, because when you are learning, you have to understand a lot of things together. But when you are more advanced, you can compress all your thoughts and then you will be quick. Because in one brushstroke, you will put four five things together okay let me go ahead and i want to tell you the two tips that they are really important i agree with you if you want to uh, before to start paint put one layers of raw humber plus dilutant uh, just for to tint the white canvas but when you start to paint if the background of the subject has a gray color and height middle tone it's not make sense start with the brown and warm and dark valued believe me i noticed this issue in a lot of students um, because they want to be quick and I start with a dark color on the background even when it's light and paint with the wrong tone and they reach the point that they have to repaint again with the light on top of it three or four times in order to reach similar color and tonality and often without success because when the oil becomes dry it will be translucent it means that the color behind interfere with the top layer I know it is a silly question but when I ask my students why do you paint the background dark if it is light and the answer of my students is always the same I don't know okay you want to save time you have to paint the correct color of the background from the beginning okay it's no make sense to wait to delay it for the future or i will do the background correct later on it's wrong it's wrong because you you will waste the time furthermore as you may see when i draw the contour of the leaves I use the same color of the background. It means I must be able to repeat the same color of the background as much I need any time. Okay, we can start from here. Or I may uh, learn how to mix colors. It's a simple practice, practice, practice. Besides, can be really helpful put a strip of tape on the right side of your canvas for comparing tones and colors before lay down a wrong brush stroke.
Second tip, when I do the contour of the leaves, I look at abstract shapes in between flowers, leaves and stem of roses. To be clear, especially when you are at the first painting, instead of look the nature like it is, you may see in abstract shapes and don't pay attention at the features like the outline of the leaves. Try to be generical as much you can. And instead of draw by one line the border of the flowers, draw first of all or paint first of all the color from inside to outside. And then when you reach the border, you can draw the contour of the flowers by adding the color of the background. Believe me, you can figure out any outline if you think in a simple abstract shapes rather than attempt to draw just one line around the subject. I want to add more contrast in the shadow of the pinky rose and I use alizarin red and cadmium red. Okay. Um, the medium is linseed oil plus uh, executive, but I um, add more uh, medium because I want to do um, like a semi glazy. It's not exactly glazy, but is the color is not uh, thick like when I do a first painting. Okay. I like to call this stage semi-glazy painting. As you may see I did a lot of grey colours and I attempt to paint in between the leaves. And now the question is what I'm looking at? And in fact it is one of the most difficult things to explain because I want to talk about the thoughts behind the brush strokes and in this case I think a transition of colors and add gray patches. It looks like a mosaic and also with one side of my brain I think at the drawing of the other side of the colors even if there is no colors. In other words I must pay attention at the shape of the dark color and at the shape of the middle tones of the background, even if there is no drawing, because the drawing is in my mind. Sorry, maybe it's too complicated. Uh, I try to do the best to be more understandable and more clear. But some, sometimes for a silly foreigners like me, it's not easy. So, finally we are at the end of the video. And what I suggest to you, try to apply these two tips, because they are really uh, helpful. And then make focus in mixing colors and think in abstract shapes. Okay, These two things together allow to you to be more fast with good quality. I want to say to you thank you to watch my video and I hope to see you at the next episode and the next episode should be the last one. But wait one moment before to go please subscribe at my channel and activate the bell. Thank you.